Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Mind this one. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Patreon.com slash BKC. Welcome back. Real macroeconomics and investing. All right. Let's go back in time, February 2nd, 2020. And I started warning about the coronavirus and the markets. Okay. Things were not looking good. Now, you don't need to be a rocket scientist, a medical doctor, or mathematician with a PhD or whatever to figure out that anything that is growing at 22% that is, vi that is sickening people is definitely airborne, right? It's not rocket scientists, uh, science. At the time, I said that even at a 1% growth rate per day it's 30 percent per month that's that's a huge growth rate and at the time it was 22 percent per day in china so i said the the key points for macro traders for the, the big picture uh is to uh consider the social economic impact from all this okay because the virus, the virus at the time in of itself was not a big deal. It's the social economic impact that matters at the time. Now it's obviously far worse, right? Now it's the virus more than the social economic impact. But this is the way that simple-minded people think, right? They're always going to go for the short-term pleasure. They're not going to go for the long-term pain. It's not the way they think, right? They will sacrifice millions and billions and trillions in the future so long as in the short term right everything looks good now if you go back right and then you, you start thinking about okay what was going on before the coronavirus well number one in july the fed started cu cutting rates in september the banks were not lending to each other so they had to run to the federal reserve and borrow okay because they couldn't get money any other way that's a problem but yet you had the the book writers the social uh media gurus the pseudo intellectuals the phds with their papers they're writing all this uh, nonsense on their blogs and this and that oh, it's not qe uh, this is uh, has nothing to do with the banking problem and da, 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 da. and i said no that's not it's a problem we had tax cuts we had lower interest rates we had repo problems right and what was corporate profit doing corporate profit was doing nothing zero zilch since 2012 and what was the stock market doing let's find out what the stock market was doing back to 2012 right here it is 2012 what was the stock market doing going straight up so you have pepsi and you have coke and you're saying i'm going to pay much more for pepsi than i will for coke even though we'll get the same amount of uh liquid there's a problem there so something's not right so my question was when we went euphoric up here my question was what value are you buying what value are you buying what are you afraid to miss out? Why is this going straight up? This is before coronavirus, okay? So in September of 2019, somewhere in between here, I said, okay, the economy is not doing well. Things are not looking good. Now, mind you that I've been uh, a bull since 2010, okay? So we're talking about all of this. And then here, I said, uh, this doesn't look good. Did I know about fucking uh, coronavirus? I had no clue. But I do have a clue that the economy was not doing well. And that's why the Fed was stepping in. That's why we needed tax cuts. And that's why we were um, running repos. Why would an economy with 160 million people working, the most ever in history, with 3.4% unemployment, the lowest in 50 years, Longest economic expansion. But what about that expansion? That expansion was only about 2 to 2.5%. 2 
I can understand that with 7% unemployment, I can't understand that at full employment or max employment, right? 3.4%. So why can't you get economic growth? Something is wrong somewhere, right? All right, so the problems were prior to uh, the coronavirus. Corona coronavirus triggered it and made it a thousand times worse. And that's why in the next uh, point here, I said the markets are extremely overbought currently. All right. And uh, sure enough, you know, uh, the, the virus has become a, a, a huge, huge problem. Now ask yourself that. How can a, a little peon like me, a little nobody, back on February 2nd can tell you how bad this is going to be? with the coronavirus and how bad the market is going to be affected by this and yet Trump didn't know with all the intelligence all the resources in the world he did know he was telling you ah oh, it's just a hoax it's nothing so let's see what what he's saying here a lot of people would think it's that, that it's going to go away in April with the heat this is February 10th 12 cases in the United States 12 cases in the United States. That's it. Why? Why was there 12 cases? Because we never tested. How are you going to test? I mean, how are you going to have uh, cases if you don't test? And meanwhile, we had thousands and thousands all over the United States. Yeah, Nick, but you don't understand the problem was in China. The problem was in China. No. We have 22,000 passengers that come from China every single day into the United States. You don't think <laughs> that you're going to have people that are asymptomatic come to the U.S. and spread it? Seriously? You can't figure that out as a president of the United States? You don't have somebody that's going to say, hey, <laughs> this is fucked. And we're waiting for heat to come in April? What? Is he, is he not aware that in the Middle East, in Iran, Singapore, Hong Kong, it's hot. <laughs> I mean, this is common sense stuff, guys. It's, this is not rocket science. So here's what he says February 20th, 27th, 2020. 60 cases. Why? Again, we're not testing. And remember, we knew, the CDC knew about it by uh, January uh, 31st, 2019. 15 people. It's only 15 people out of billions of people. 15 people. It's nothing. I mean, come on. Meanwhile, the entire U.S., the entire planet, all over the world, were infecting each other and infecting each other and infecting each other. And getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And we're doing nothing about it. No mitigation. Not even an attempt to stop it. Nothing. Why? Why? Again, right? It's about that, oh, you know, let's make everything look good in the short term. Forget about the long term. It's okay how many people get sick. How many lungs are going to be scarred from this? How many people are going to have complication from this? How many people are going to die from this? Forget about that. It's about me becoming president again and making the stock market go higher. This is when I posted the video. And this is um, March 5th, okay? This is the, the third, this is the fifth. And throughout this whole time, we just had a little normal correction. La, 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 nothing is happening. Not even the stock market could figure out what the hell was going on, right? Because they're getting their information from their president. And, uh, you know, everything is fine. If they're telling us it's fine, then it's fine. What's it saying next? Oh, yeah, they're getting better. And soon they're all going to be better. Everything is great. <laughs> it's only 60 cases. Come on. No big deal. One day it's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will just disappear. Magic. Right? You, you're going to tell me this person is fit to lead? How many people did he kill? By saying these stupid things. How many people are going to have scarred lungs? Complications from coronavirus. How many people will suffer because of him? 
right? 60 cases. You know what? You want to see how many we have today? 85,749 that have been just documented. It's not that they, they didn't exist back then. They existed, and we're just sitting here, just going back and forth, infecting each other, asymptomatic. Why? Because he doesn't like to listen to experts. Experts are idiots. He's the only one that knows better. 542,000 worldwide, and the doubling rate is every five days. So that means in five days from now, we're going to have over 1.1 million cases worldwide. And the death rate is 24,000. Recoveries is only 126 from the 142,000. So that means that the death rate after completed cases of 150,000 so far, right, and we're still growing, don't forget that exponentially every five, five days, right, is 16%. 16% of all those who have gone through the complete virus have either been recovered or died. 16% of them die. Okay, And that number is going to get worse and worse as the uh, healthcare system is overloaded. We don't have ventilators. Uh, we don't have staffing. We don't have beds. We don't have so forth. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And, you know, all the money in the world that you're going to print and you can't, you know, $6 trillion so far and you can't go out and buy the million ventilators that we need? You know, people die in, within hours, suffocating, if they don't have a ventilator. We have to sit here and figure out how to split the cords on ventilators to to, to, to accommodate uh, patients. And he's telling you it's going to go away like a miracle? Like a miracle. Like a miracle. It's just going to go away. Everything's fine. You know, summer heat is going to come in April. <laughs> summer heat in April? What? Look at this guy. Look at this. Oh, it's a CDC official helping spook Trump's economy with coronavirus's fears. What? <laughs> and this is February 28th, huh? February 28th. Right? Look at that. This is the kind of stuff that happens when you don't have leadership. Right? This is the stuff that happens. Let's go further up on my Facebook page. Um... Here, March 2nd, clinical doctor, ER. He's running out. He's like, he's on CNBC. He's like, look, we're trying to get testing. We, we have to test. We need tests. We don't have them. Okay? He's screaming on TV. We need help. March 2nd. What did I say here? Thousands of cases of coronavirus by next week. We need testing. This is what the doctor is saying, right? Don't believe in false reassurances, meaning don't believe Trump. March 4th, 9.17 in the morning, we are heading for a recession. I post the chart and I show you very clearly, hey, look, this is the way it looks before you go into a recession. And this is exactly the way it looked. And I, and I said, you know, laughing out loud, no, no recession here, really? This is March 4th. We know what the trigger is going to be. It's coronavirus. What happens by the end of that day? Emergency rate cuts by the Fed. When the Fed cuts rates in an emergency session, a recession always follows, period. Right? They don't cut them because they're stupid. They see the data. they got all the resources in the world to see what's going on. Right? Emergency rate cut. Then you got this doofus over here. I still don't know why you're flying planes if you're such a stock guru. Right? Moron. Moron. Did he come in and ask, hey, you know, how did you come up with this? What's the, what's the logic behind this? Ask any questions? No, of course not. Why? Because these people, they know everything. They, they turned on the TV and listened to Trump. They know everything. So, of course, Nick doesn't know what he's talking about, right? It's against Trump. I'm the most apolitical person in the world. Never have I been political. Never do I post political stuff. Never do I even post anything like this, unless I know something bad is happening, right? Oh, I still don't know why you're flying planes if you're such a stock market guru. 
I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, where is that guy now? When we have a hundred, I'm sorry, we have 85,749,000 cases, 1,300 uh, people dead. Where is that guy? We surpassed China. Where is that guy today? Hmm? Where is he? 16% death rate. Anybody that goes into the hospital, you have a 16% chance of dying. And we're still somewhat managing and coping. Imagine when these when this number starts to increase, what's go, what, what that number is going to be. right? When this number increases, what it's going to be. It doubles every five days. It's going to be 1 million, 2 million, 4 million, 8 million. That's just 20 days from now. February 28th, 63 cases in the United States. Again, because we're not testing. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. The per, the, the per, you know that, that right? Coronavirus. This is the new hoax. Right? They're going to bring them down. And he knew. He knew that we have a pandemic underway worldwide and he was not testing South Korea Iran deaths all over the place he knew it and this is what he's telling people the number two economy in the world China is locked down 750 million people we have pollution we have satellite pictures pollution under a lockdown in China how can you have pollution right the burning bodies. And it's just a hoax. It's a liberal hoax. But little Nick knew what's going on, right? Little dumb pilot over here. I knew what was going on and he didn't. Come on, man. Come on. March 4th. Okay, 100,000 milestone. All right. March 4th. We got 500 today. These, these were the numbers back then, okay? Global coronavirus cases reached 97,800. Korea was up front. All right. Let's continue on. Um, March 6, South Korea, 50 million population, has conducted 140,000 tests. U.S., 340 million population. 1500 tests why why is why is it two months after we've known about it that we only have 1500 hmm? think about that why why let's look at here march 7th right united states confirmed 409 cases serious two and uh, six recovered, nine deceased. Amazing what a little testing can do. Here we got we have Dick Dick Scratch back. Oh, this guy, he's a doctor, a financial economist, a fortune teller. Jesus, all that flying. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing my ass off, and tell me. Any one person that actually believes a word that the New York Times puts out? Liberal lunatism. Look at this. Again, did these people come and ask, why are you saying this? What's going on? What What's the evidence behind it? What's going on? Any of these people do that? No. Nope. They get their information from Trump. That's what these people do. February 29th. You'll go through a process and you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything is good. We need a solid uh, flu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got out of control there. Um, you take a solid flu vaccine. You don't think that would have an impact? <laughs> the expert. The expert. March 2nd, 100 cases in the United States. I mean, right? The smart man. He just kind of comes up. Yeah, just take one of those uh, 
flu things. You know, what is it? Vaccine? Is that what you call it? Yeah, take one of those and just uh, throw it on people. Everything is going to be fine, right? It's not going to work. It's got to work. Come on, it's a vaccine. This is how idiotic and unfit this human is to lead the United States of America. And because of him, okay, we have 85,000 cases, and you can you can bet right now that there's an enormous amount, hundreds of thousands more out there we just have not tested. Thousands more are going to die. Thousands and tens of thousands of people are going to have lung scarring and problems from all this. Why? Why? Because he wanted to get reelected. He wanted the stock market to go up. This is one of my favorites, right? Isn't the vaccine going to be one of those just throwing on people it'll be good? Answer, no. <laughs> From the expert, no. Right? Look at that face. What do you mean, no? Oh, that's just stupid. Great question. During a public health crisis like this, should we be having uh, rallies and so forth? Yeah, it's very safe. Things are going very well. Yeah. No, that's not inevitable. No, that's not going to happen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, shortly thereafter, he declares a, an emergency, and you guys know what the rest is, right? Simple-minded people getting their science, their medical updates from a politician who is inept to lead a failure a person that's looking out for his own interest in the stock market and his swamp and as a result hundreds of thousands are going to suffer and as the health care system starts to break down as we don't have ventilators we don't have proper staffing beds whatever okay this number, this percentage is going to rise. And it's not, you know, and this is misleading. This is misleading in the sense that, you know, how many people are going to get uh, appendicitis and not going to get treated and die, right? People that need dialysis, people that, you know, there's so many other problems that we have. And if the whole healthcare system is clogged up, overloaded, how many doctors are going to get sick, nurses, right? How many more are going to die? How many more? I don't know. And we, we pumped six trillion so far. It's probably going to go to ten trillion, maybe more, probably more. And uh, stock market collapsed. How many 401ks have been destroyed? Pension funds. Well, we can give them that. That we are now the number one country in the world infected with coronavirus, bravo Trump, right? And we can also give him credit for contracting wealth inequality, because he just wiped out about, I don't know, $30 trillion of value. And he's asking people to die so we can go back uh, to work, so we can pump the market back up. He wants to go back by April. Uh, whatever the date is, 13, I don't know what it is. Come on, let's go back. Everybody go back to work. Don't worry about it. Who cares how many die? Who, ca who cares how many people are going to have scars on their lungs? We need to get the economy up and running. When it was him, to begin with, that created the problem. Because he wouldn't try to contain it. He didn't try to mitigate it. He's, he's not providing the appropriate... Uh, equipment is relying on charity for ventilators for masks for whatever equipment we need and still and still to this day the vast majority of the united states is not locked down why because there's a stupid idea out there well this state only has a hundred uh, cases what the whole entire United States had 100 cases, and now we have 85. And because the state has 100 cases, we're not going to lock them down to, to prevent it? 
Nobody seems to care. There's no outrage. You still have people like Basil running around. It's just a hoax. It's just a flu. Don't worry about it. Let's go back to work. It's okay if this person and that person dies. We are doubling the amount of cases in the United States every two days and a couple hours. So this number here, that's 85 now. Five days. I'm sorry, in two and a half days, two, less than 2.3 days, it's going to be 170,000. And then it's going to double again, 350,000. Two and a half days after that, less. The deaths are going to continue to rise. Why? Because the village idiot is giving medical advice. He's telling experts how it is. And his stupid followers, the Trump bots, believe him. Jimmy Jones, James, Jamestown, cult shit. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.